Hi guys. So I'll just wear my wig, powerful wig. Yan. Maganda na ba? Do I look good in this? Mm. Okay. Actually, I don't know how to start this vlog. I'm not good in talking or vlogging. I'm a little bit awkward. But I am gonna be explaining on how I found out I have cancer. I receive a lot of messages from my Instagram, Facebook page, and a lot of my friends asking me how I found out I have cancer at the age of 37. Yes, and I'm 38 years old right now. So that was it. Hope ga guys, you will listen to my story. Uh, mga ano lang to, 5 to 10 minutes. And other questions, other questions I receive is how I found out I have cancer, how I manage my time every day, like how I stay positive throughout the day, uh, what are my preparation before, during, and after my surgery and chemotherapy. So, masasagot ko po yan sa other videos. So, for now, focus lang po muna ako sa how I found out I have cancer. So, let's start. Say hello to po. So, anyway, guys, yung background ko pala is water relaxation meditation. Kasi everyday ako nag water meditation therapy. It's, it really helped me a lot talaga. Really helps me a lot. Oh, charot. So, yun na nga, guys. That was January 2020 last year. Actually, last year is not a good year for me, but I receive a lot of miracles. That was January 2020 na I have these five symptoms. One is heavy menstruation, mild back pain, shortness of breath, nahihilo ako, bleeding after sex, heavy menstruation is regular yung menstruation ko but na alarm lang ako kasi bubuo na yung siya malakas yung ano talaga every month and it is starting January mild back pain i work for four years na as a caregiver so akala ko sa pagbubuhat lang nahihilo ako akala ko gutom lang kikain ko lang to and shortness of breath i have seasonal asthma and nag ano lang ako nag spray lang ako kasi akala ko ito asthma lang and maraming factory kasi sa area namin and then yung sa bleeding after sex is sometimes lang talaga tas kunti lang so my husband asked me if i felt any pain sabi ko no pain at all talaga pero these are the five symptoms na, excuse me, I decided to see my oncologist. But, because sa uh, that time is coronavirus nga, so hindi agad ako nakapag-appointment sa gynecologist ko. So, from January, August na ako nakapag-appointment. So, on that day, that was August 7, 2020, sinabi ko nga sa gynecologist ko mga symptoms na ganyan. So, sabi niya, magpa-pap smear ako on that day. So, later on, in-explain niya na may mga blood sa, ano, surround sa cervix area. I will wait daw for one week for the result, for the biopsy result. After a week, I received the letter. And actually, my husband was holding the letter and pinasa niya na we found out a malignant tumor in your cervix area. Please see as soon as possible. Doctor, blah, blah, blah. Nashak ako. Hindi ko alam nung naramdaman ko that time. Yes. Nabigla ako. But the funny thing is, my husband told me, don't worry, it's just a malignant. Huh? Sabi ko. Excuse me? Not benign. It's malignant. It means I have cancer. I have cancer. Yun talaga yung sinabi ko sa kanya. So, pero nagmamadali kasi I don't know if denial siya that day talaga. Tapos, 
nagmamadali siya kasi may work siya. So, ako, naiwan ako, nagdasal ako. Sabi ko, God, cancer talaga. Please give me enough strength. And, sana hindi pa high risk. Never ako nag-question kay God. Yes, I've cried. Talaga, umiyak talaga ako. Pero, I'm a positive person. So, yun na nga, moving forward. Uh, it was Friday. I remember it was Friday we went to the hospital. Tapos, yung alam mo na while waiting sa doctor's office. Tapos, my hands are shaking, sweating, I'm crying. But thank you to my husband. He was there holding my hands. Tapos, nandun na kami sa loob ng doctor's office. Hindi ko alam kung napapalpitate ba ako or ano, basta naiyak na ako. Tapos suddenly the doctor drops a bomb. I'm sorry, but don't worry. You have cancer. Yun talaga, as in, maluma na talaga yung pagkasabi. So, I've cried. That time, you know, the doctor keeps on talking. Tapos, while I was crying, nakikinig lang yung husband ko. And... I remember that time, I only hear one word, cancer. It felt like a gut punch, you know, without any warning. A lot of my, you know, a lot of questions pop up in my mind. Ano bang, ano bang treatment? Mag-undergo ba ako ng surgery agad? Prognosis? Ano mangyayari? Masakit ba? Or yung mga ganun pero positive pa rin talaga ako tapos yun know, many thoughts flood in my brain sabi ko is it true hindi to totoo pero and now i realize those are those reactions of mine are normal parang the doctor keeps on talking tapos yung feelings ko at saka yung mind ko talagang ang ra- ang dami kong iniisip na I'm not afraid to die, yes. Pero, parang nag-advance na talaga ako ng thinking na, to me, thinking that would be a waste of time. Yun, yung magtitink ka ng, I heard 2% living na lang, and 98% are dying. Yung mga ganong scenario. But, you know, when I got the news on that day, yes, I've cried. But I didn't ask God why me. I couldn't back in time and, you know, change anything. So, why dwell on it, diba? So, I set my sights on where I wanted to be and decided to spend my, you know, time living my life. Ako lang naman na makagawa niyan. All I could do was control the future and what I was going to do the next to do next, I mean. Kasi ako lang talaga yung makagagawa. Kasi nandito na tong cancer eh. And I look at my diagnosis as a challenge or a competition that I was going to win. There was no way I was going to allow cancer to beat me. I just like a battle for, you know, it's just like a battle for me that I need to win. So, yun na nga, guys. I never believe I would die. Never. I will kick this cancer out. And, yun, moving forward. On that day, nag-underga ko ng MRI PET scan series of laboratories exam. Tapos, nag ako sa hospital for the whole day. It was found out na stage 1 ako. And my gynecologist referred me agad sa oncologist. So, pero one week after pa ako nagpunta sa oncologist. And then, pagdating doon, ni-review niya. So, I had a PET scan and series of laboratories exam again. So, nasa stage 2 talaga ako. Stage 2, 1A. So, agad-agad, uh, she gave me an options, operations, or chemotherapy and radiation. But, yung operation is total radical hysterectomy. 
total radical hysterectomy is tatanggalin yung ovary, fallopian tube, cervix, then lymph nodes in my pelvic areas. So, hindi agad ako nakapag-decide kasi gusto ko pang magkaroon ng anak. And, pero sabi nga ng husband ko, no, you will go for total radical hysterectomy. And, so after a week, bumalik kami sa oncologist and then my operation is scheduled last September 3, 2020. It was 7 hours operation. It was successful. I stay in the hospital for 11 days. Though, nag-self-catheter ako for 3 months. Kasi nga yung bladder kasi hindi pa ready. But now is okay na. Thank God and I'm doing great. So, you know, hindi lahat ng cancer patient is same yung nararamdaman. But, na-shock lang talaga ako yung some people ano, send me a message na messages na kaya mo yan, I know how you feel, I know how you feel, no, you don't and you won't until you have cancer. Huwag niyo pong sabihin na I know how you feel kasi I'm sorry to say this kasi wala kayong cancer. ba? Yun lang po. Hindi po madali ang may cancer pero for me, I need to be strong and I need to be positive. Life must go on. And nandito na to. So, kailangan ko lang ng prevention and how I manage my everyday life. Kasi iba na yung life ko ngayon before na I have no cancer and now that I have cancer. So, it's really different. Uh, mental health affected meron, yes, depression pero depende kung paano mo i-manage yun so to all cancer warrior please, keep on fighting keep on praying do your best and let God do the rest uh, fight lang po talaga tayo and to all sa mga pamilya po dyan, sana ano, bigyan nyo po ng pagmamahal, support at pag-intindi ang mga cancer patients Okay, hope you guys will share my story and please see me on my next video about how I prepare for the chemotherapy treatment and how I stay positive throughout the day. Okay, salamat po sa lahat and God bless.